on. Whoop. <laughs> That's what that they nice? do. <laughs> okay, you're going to hear plenty of that this weekend because we got more rain on the way. How's that for oh, a segue? There go. Ah, there we go. Headed into the first weekend in March. The spring equinox is less than three weeks away, but we've got winter weather returning as we head into the weekend. Storm system is going to be sending a couple of waves of rain across the Bay Area. So let's track it with feature cast. Thickening clouds tonight, but we're still dry before the sun comes up tomorrow morning. That rain moving into the North Bay just after the sun comes up. By 9 o'clock, we're going to be tracking the heaviest downpours making their way into Sonoma and Marin counties. This band of rain is going to be associated with some pretty gusty winds, but this is going to move quickly across the Bay Area. The intense downpours aren't going to last more than 20 or 30 minutes in any one spot, which reduces the risk of any significant flooding threat. We're going to be seeing that move out already by early afternoon. This forecast model keeps us dry during the afternoon. I'm not quite that optimistic. Still a few hit or miss showers possible, and then round two of rain is going to be moving in tomorrow night. Like the first one, this is going to be a quick mover, but you notice more pink and white showing up. The snow levels are going to be dropping down down to about 2,500 feet with the second wave of rain Saturday night. And then we're down to lingering off and on showers on Sunday. It's not going to be a washout Sunday, but still keep the rain jacket and the umbrella handy because we are still going to see some of those hit or miss showers. And that's going to be the case all the way into Monday morning. Could be a wet drive to work to start the work week. And those lingering showers will be with us a little bit later into Monday as well. Adding up the rain that we expect through Monday morning, about a half an inch to an inch on a widespread basis. Again, the rain moving through quickly enough that it's not going to drop torrential amounts in any particular spot. Some of the higher elevations in the Santa Cruz Mountains could pick up about an inch and a quarter of total rain. And there is going to be some snow in the mountains of the North Bay, especially above 2,500 feet. That's where you could see accumulating snowfall up to a few inches, but then, of course, above 4,000 feet on top of the mountains, over a foot of snow could add up. A winter weather advisory in effect through 4 o'clock on Sunday. Gusty winds will accompany both bands of heavy rain. The winds aren't going to be too strong as we head through tonight, but some 25 to 35 mile an hour gusts with round one. Those will die down somewhat during the afternoon, but it's still going to be breezy and chilly throughout the day. And then more gusty winds with that second round of rain tomorrow night, 25 to 35 mile an hour gusts. So be prepared for the possibility of some sporadic power outages and in the Sierra. Still more snow. The winter storm warning goes through 10 a.m. on Monday. If you're going to be traveling up in that direction, which everybody there is discouraging people from doing, head there tonight because the snow is going to start early tomorrow and is going to continue through Monday. You're not going to be able to make it back likely until Tuesday or Wednesday. Feet of accumulation above 3,000 feet. The Rain chances are going to diminish as we head into next week, but they don't go away entirely. At least a chance of a shower every day, about a 20% chance, but it looks like maybe Wednesday and Thursday could bring us some more hit or miss showers. We'll keep an eye on that. A lot of turbulence in the long range data, so that's something we'll keep reevaluating. Right now, temperatures are mostly in the 50s. It's down to 50 on the nose already in San Francisco. Mostly low 40s tonight with the chilliest spots briefly dipping below 40. And highs tomorrow? Not very high, low 50s. That's it, about 10 to 12 degrees below average. So it's going to be chilly and windy and just generally wet, even though we won't have as much shower activity during the afternoon. The ground is still going to be wet. Lingering showers Sunday and Monday, a dry day on Tuesday. Chance of showers in the 30 to 40 percent range Wednesday and Thursday. And then it does look like the forecast might dry out again on Friday with slightly warmer temperatures. The closest we're going to get to average highs all the way at the tail end of the seven day forecast. And even then we're going to be a few degrees below normal.